So you can see that a lot more has uh, been spread onto the balloon and it's really doing it on its own. I'm just continually spinning it, kind of like in orbit. And uh, the slime is just doing its own thing. And just keep patting it, keep patting it and spinning it and patting it and spinning it. And eventually it will be covered and it will be smooth and you can borrow. Look at that, I'm doing math too. You can borrow from the uh, slime at the bottom to uh, give back to the top because it's just going, it's just gravity. It's just gonna keep dripping off the bottom. So if you have any bald patches on top, borrow from the bottom and put it back on top until it's really smooth. And again, this takes a while, but it's just so fun making your own art. You know, why buy something, you know, when you can, when it can be your own and you can be very creative with it. Um, I know sometimes buying things can be more expensive. So I just like to have fun with things at home and I'm really a lover of science. So why not, right? All of my students can probably attest to that. I'll give a shout out to my students at Solid Rock Community School and my students at Academy Prep, where I was their science teacher, the best students in the whole world. And uh, you know me, or they know me, Miss Duncan is a little cuckoo, but that's what makes a scientist cool, right? I'm really into science and I'm into making things uh, creative and fun and Mostly, I'm into just being way okay with mistakes because if we could think back to some of our great scientists, I think they ever got it right, exactly right the first time. No. Uh, anyway, I'll check back with you when this is really, really smooth and we're going to start.